In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your PayPal name. So in order to do this, it's very easy to do. So with that being said, let's jump straight into the video. First thing you're going to want to do is come across to paypal.com and log into your account. So you might actually be wanting to change your name. There could be a number of reasons. It could be that maybe you've just got married or divorced and you want to change your legal name, or maybe your name's spelled incorrectly and there's something you want to change. Dependent on what kind of change you want to do will depend on the process to change your name. It does vary, so make sure to follow along. And the first thing you're going to want to do from here is come to your profile settings if you come to the top right hand corner you should have a settings icon like a gear icon or you might have your name with a drop down box like this and then from here you just want to come to your profile settings so once you get to your profile settings if you come to the left hand side you're going to see this section called your profile and if you look underneath you're going to have a section called personal details mm -hmm. So what you want to do is give that a click and you'll see underneath personal details the first section says name and you're going to see a change button to the right highlighted in blue so of course you want to go ahead and click onto this to change your name so what's going to happen is paypal is going to ask you why you're changing your name and as i mentioned earlier dependent on why you're changing your name will depend on the process that paypal takes you through to change your name so you can see the options here, you've legally changed your name. Again, if this is something like marriage or divorce, something like this, uh, your name is incorrect. So there's a spelling error, something like that. Maybe your contact name has changed or your business name has changed. You are only gonna get this last option if you have a business PayPal like I've got. But in this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and select your name is incorrect. So if I was to select the first one, you've legally changed your name and click continue. What's going to happen it's going to ask you to upload some documents so this is a way to update your legal name so you can see it's asking for a copy of a photo id so something like a driver's license or passport and you need a copy of the legal document showing your name change so this should be something like a marriage certificate maybe a divorce decree or something issued from the courts showing your name change so what you would do is click the upload documents and go ahead and upload those and paper will go ahead and change that uh, so the next option you've got is your name is incorrect. So if we click onto this one and click continue You'll see it's going to be slightly different. You don't really need to do much for this You can make a minor change if it's two letters or fewer any other changes again You need to send through documents So say you've set up your account and in my example I've put my first name spelled with an I instead of a Y Because this is less than two I can go ahead and change that and then click change name underneath but of course, if it's a big name change, you're going to go ahead and send documents. So you want to click this link and it will take you through the process. So the next option we have is the contact name has changed. So if we click that one and click continue again, this is similar to the first one. You can see you have to send a photo ID, but instead of sending like a legal document through, you actually need to send through a document on your business setterhead. So what you would do is send through a document with your business letterhead and you would have to include the following details. So your primary email, current name, address, phone number, um, all those details, upload the document and that's how you update your contact name. And the final option, as I say, is to do with a business name. Your business name has changed. So for this one, it's very straightforward. All you can do is just enter your new business name in this box here. Click update business name and that's going to go ahead and update. So make sure you do go through these carefully and select the option that applies to you because the way to change your name is different depending on why you are choosing to change your name. So make sure you do select the correct option. But I hope this video did help you out and that you did find it helpful. Uh, if it did help you out then be sure to leave a like and comment on the video. And make sure you do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials. So I just want to take a moment to thank you for watching and with that being said I will see you guys in the next video.